Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Faith and Scripture Writing channel. I'm excited to be here today. I'm excited to dive into my scripture writing and journaling prompt. I skipped a week last week and I do apologize. Um, I'm not going to do a separate video to make up for it, but I will review um, what I have written. I just had a very busy week. Um, my budgeting channel kind of comes first. And so it was the end of the month. And at the end of the month, there is so much happening where I'm doing all these videos back to back to back. And there was so much pay and trying to keep it all organized was very difficult. Um, but I got through that. <laughs> but here I am with Hear My Prayers um, scripture writing and journaling prompt. And uh, I am making time for this. I did do last week's and I will show you that first. But right now, this is the new month of May. <laughs> and this is exciting. So when you are watching this, it is May 4th. So if you are a Star Wars fan, may the 4th be with you. I know it's corny, but I love Star Wars. <laughs> and uh, I just thought it would be fun to say something like that. But uh, May 4th is... Um, an awesome day. It's a Wednesday. Every Wednesday I try to get a video up. I'm filming early so to, so I can have it up and scheduled and ready to go. But um, I, I just, um, I do apologize for last week. I can't believe I missed last week. But I do love the colors. It's very adventurous. It's got this little like moped um, and these um, compass and Polaroid photos as a little different um, decoration on the page. And I'm excited to kind of get in and just see um, what God has to say to us. I do know when I worked on last week's, it definitely spoke to me. In fact, the uh, both scripture writing where I do two in each um, time I write in this, um, I use both of those in my monthly view, which I will be showing as well. And, um, yeah, I'm just excited to dive in. I do want to find my highlighters. I do have these awesome, sorry if the camera's shaking, um, Alohoster uh, highlighters. And I want the right kind of blue. And I think it's going to be this. So I'm going to take this out, find a little scratch piece of paper, and just kind of highlight on it to make sure it's the blue I want. I don't really have these colors memorized, so <laughs> I got these on Amazon. I saw another person on YouTube get, use these, and they closely match the, um, what you would call it, the flora design uh, in some of the colors, and that's why I got it, because I love that co those colors. Yeah, that's the color I want, so I'm going to put this in here, and um, so that's where I got it from on Amazon. It's called a low hoster and this is how it comes in this little tray and this little box and that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. And there's a happiness colors and there is the youth colors. And they're just pastel highlighters that um, are good for any books um, and they don't have much bleed or any bleed through at all. And I really do like them. So let's go ahead and mark off today which is the fourth, um, and today's scripture is Matthew 7, 21 through 23. So it looks like there's three verses there. I just printed these so that it might bleed a little bit. And your uh, journaling prompt is let your will be done today, Lord. So we're talking about his will, not our will. And we want him to lead in that because our will never works out. <laughs> and when we try to force it, it just never really comes across right. So I do have my sophisticated florals um today and i want to use these and yeah i'm excited to get into this so let's go ahead and move this to the side and i want to go ahead and zoom in and show you what i had done oh before i zoom in though let's look at last week's that i did but i just didn't film and oh i just needed to flip it over like this so this is last week's um and you will see these verses again because these are my monthly verses as well. But I read my scripture. I did my praise. And it was so interesting. Before I even read any of the scripture, 
I went ahead and wrote my praise out and my praise said, thank you, Lord, for providing me the strength to come back to your word and learn from you. Um, I was feeling a little overwhelmed and discouraged last week, so I wrote the word strength. And the next thing I know, I go into the scripture and it's talking about confidence. It's talking about hope and security. And then here it says, don't be afraid. I will strengthen you. And I went, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. I mean, that's just affirmation that God knew I was coming into the word and he was going to speak to me. And he gave me a scripture that went along with my praise. And I thought that was just beautiful. Um, this is the decoration I did for this page. Um, I didn't do much else because obviously I didn't film it. Um, my journaling prompt was about give me strength today. And that's what I prayed about. Give me strength to continue uh, filming faith videos. And I've been kind of struggling wanting to get into it again. Um, things like that. And, um, and feel the passion I once did for these videos. I get so distracted with the budgeting because I have deep passion for that. But sometimes this goes off to the side. So I don't really want that. And then um, I lift them. I said, I lift you up, uh, lift myself to you, Lord, you and the plans you have for me. And I pray the light my path. You light my path so I may see your desire for me. I just want to keep him close to me as possible. So that was last Wednesdays that I didn't get to record because I just actually just wrote all this out before I got on camera. <laughs> so there is that. Now, it's a new month, which is always exciting and fun. And I went ahead and did May and wrote all this out because I didn't want to take forever on camera. I kind of wish I did this blue color and I might reprint this and do blue, but um, this is what I used um, this color uh, for the month of May. Uh, the verse of the month is the same as the last week's that I didn't read to you a minute ago. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you can kind of see this a little bit better. I'll pull up on the iPad so you can actually really read it. But actually, probably you can probably read my writing today. Normally, it's not as neat as this, and this is not that great. So let me zoom in. I'll be right back. Plans for May. Uh, the verse of the month I have is Job 11, 18. And it says, then you would, you would trust with confidence because there is hope you will look around you rest securely did i read that write that right i wonder if i wrote that right now that i've read it out loud um i did use the amplified version of this and job job is one of those books i always hear people say it's really hard it's really difficult um the story is i would say difficult especially when it hits home if you've had tragedy or difficulty in your life but um, as far as doing a study, and Lisa Harper did a study on this, it was one of the first studies I did by myself. Um, and she did an amazing job of finding the joy and the despair. And I thought that was amazing. And I love actually the Book of Job. <laughs> Most people don't want to go there, but I absolutely love going there. So this is where I got the um, verse from. Then you would trust with confidence because there is hope. Uh, you would look around you and rest securely. Is that how I wrote it? I might have skipped a few words. Uh, I'll fix that later if I did. And then the prayer for the month, I decided to do a verse instead of just praying because there's a lot of places where it says you can pray or I put prayer in. So I went ahead and went, you know what? I'm just going to pray a verse over my life and over my fam myself and my family. And so I just said, Lord, I pray the scripture to you. And I'm going to look that up because uh, it is squeezed in there. And that is Isaiah, where's that at? Isaiah 41, 10. And that one has, let's see here, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. And this is what it says. Again, this is the Amplified. It's my favorite version. I love the amplification. It just helps with memory and detail and actually kind of feel Um what they're emphasizing in the scripture. So it says, do not fear anything for I am with you. Do not be afraid for I am your God. 
I will strengthen you, be, be assured I will help you. I will certainly take hold of you with my righteous right hand, a right hand of justice, of power, of victory, of salvation. And I really needed to hear that so bad because I feel defeated sometimes, especially when I don't, I have to skip a week or if I was just not feeling it and I don't get on here and do scripture writing um, and, and keep my promise to you guys. I just really sometimes feel defeated like Satan's really pushing me down and maybe he is and it may be a spiritual battle. I totally understand that, but I needed to hear my righteous right hand a hand of justice, a hand of power, a hand of victory, a hand of salvation. I think that is so powerful to hear. And I pray these words over me and my family because this scripture has a lot of meaning to me and um, it lifts me up. It makes me, it does encourage and make me feel stronger. And I hope it encourages you and makes you feel stronger too. And if it does, put a little emoji in the uh, comments below. I would love to see you guys if you're watching and listening, um, a little thumbs up or, you know, whatever, however you want to celebrate that little bit of scripture there. Um, if it encouraged you, put something down in the comments. Um, I would love to hear from you guys. So I thank the Lord that you are with me and will never abandon me. Um, I think a lot of us have abandonment issues and life is hard and we feel alone so much of the time. So I need that reminder from time to time. So uh, the next thing I have is grateful for, and I'm grateful for my church, especially the women of our church. Uh, I lift them up to you is what I said. It's kind of a prayer for me when I write this stuff down. I am uh, most grateful for my mom. I pray many blessings over her. It's Mother's Day coming up and I adore my mother. She is amazing and beautiful. And mom, if you're watching, I love you. Uh, you are the best mom in the world and you deserve all that credit <laughs> because you are amazing. Um, missionaries are who I'm praying for around the world, Ukraine and the war. Uh, unreached people groups, a uh, new baby coming into the world soon. So that is a friend of mine who's having a baby. We are on baby stork mode right now, waiting for the little one to arrive any day now. She's not due until June 3rd and it's only May 4th. We have, we're in the last month, but she could go early. She's, she's, yeah, she could go early. So we're just praying over her that when the time comes, we're good and ready and prepared to take care of her and the baby and the family and everything. So I'm excited about that and praying for that. So the goals for the month to pray for. I'm not a goal setter. I, I do it all through prayer. I do it all through scripture. I do it all through that. So here <laughs> is what I want to pray for in the month. And so keep motivated to do faith videos and attend church in person. I have neuropathy in my hands and feet. Um, today is not as bad, but some days is pretty bad and I don't get to go in person or I, I struggle wanting to come on and film because uh, physically it's not uh, as fun as it once was. Um, so my faith, I want to keep motivated in that part of my life because those are my faith things that I do. Uh, pray for my family, my husband, my sons, my parents, extended family. If you're related to me and you know me, guess what? I'm praying. Um, I've got a husband who's deployed. He won't be back until the end of May. Um, there and about, I have two sons with autism, both adults, and one's 23 and one's getting ready to graduate high school and turn 18 and all the things that come along with that. In fact, I have here something. Let me see if I can grab it. Uh, Huh. announcements the announcements came in for graduation and I'm so excited so I need to address and um, label and all the things oh my gosh I can't believe that and get them stamped and ready to mail um oh my gosh that is just crazy to me Okay, so a lot of activities coming up um, with uh, family and things like that so I may struggle again in the month of June and July, and if we move that month as well. So I will keep you guys up to date as time goes on, on what the plans are month to month, on what when I can be on and putting videos out 
and hopefully I can batch film some of these as well. So that way I can just have them uploaded and ready to go and not have to worry about them for the month. So um, hopefully I can get that done. We'll have to wait and see. The next thing is fitness, being able to start walking daily. I think we've got my medication and pain management um, a little bit more under control and I can add more activities um, where, you know, when it's in neuropathy in your feet, it's hard to walk and do extensive ex exercises and stuff like that. So I pray for that. And finances, I pray that we save as much as we can for the move because um, we do believe we will be moving. Uh, but we just don't know when, where, or any of that. So the one thing I did forget to write over here was habits, and this is just scripture writing, so I need to turn this to write this. Uh, writing. There we go. So I have my habit tracker. The only thing I'm really tracking is scripture writing. You can track uh, steps, water, things like that. Um, it, whatever it is that you want to track to make sure you're doing something every day and how frequently you're doing it um, and have that available on here. So I that's where I've got it. Um, as soon as I do my stickers from this month's um, prayerful planner, which I haven't gotten done, I kind of want to cut it out on my um, silhouette if I can figure a way to do it, then I will... Um, then I'll do that. So I'll add some stickers to this. But for now, this is all I am planning to do. And now we're moving to Wednesday, May 4th. May the 4th be with you again. I will say it again because I love Star Wars. And one of my favorite characters, if you have not watched my budgeting channel, uh, I do have um, plan with me's in my hourly videos. You will notice I have this little guy. <laughs> I love my Grogu. I even have the doll that makes all the noises from um, Build-A-Bear my husband got me. And I have little Christmas ornaments I keep up now. <laughs> I just got all the things, so it's ridiculous. I even have covers for my planners for Erin Condren that um, have Grogu on them. So yeah, there's that. And I had to resist the temptation to buy the really cheap uh, grocery bags at Walmart that are Star Wars themed that had the Mandalorian or Grogu on it because they were cheap quality but they were so cute covers so I just I just didn't get them but I, I came this close to getting it I mean I literally took it off and went nope it feels too cheap I'm putting it back so quality over quantity is what I do I'm gonna pop this page out and we are going to work on today as you see I already have um, my warm-up scripture writing and it's just because for whatever reason all I really wanted to do was put down um, Psalms 18 2 in the Amplified and stop there but I just kept going so I was like oh well <laughs> that's okay I'll just read it out loud and that's not going to be a problem but the rest of this we're going to do together I've already white white out the different sections that I didn't want and highlighted what I did want I'm going to go ahead and kind of highlight these other areas I haven't done yet. I like each section to have some kind of color so I can kind of, my eyes kind of drawn to it so I can see the section. And that just makes me happy. So there's that. And then let's go ahead and look at the verse of the day from the prayerful planner that's up in the corner. Now you can use this as a planner if you're not familiar with the prayerful planner, if you're new to this channel. Um, I like to scripture write. I like to do the journaling prompts from the prayerful planner. Uh, it's just a planner company. This is actually um, a PDF printable. It's a digital download and you just print the pages. Everything's already on it and you can print what you want. You can print all of it, however you want to do it. I only print the pages I actually work on. I don't actually print the entire uh, prayerful planner. So May 4th here is Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Matthew 23, 37. This is my dad's favorite verse to quote that I know of. Um, and I love, I went back and looked at several verses that kind of talked about your mind, your heart, your soul, your spirit, you know, love the Lord in several verses. And every verse I found 
only one didn't start with heart. I think it started with soul or something like that. I can't remember. And I found 15, 20 verses. And I thought that was very interesting that God is sitting there going with all your heart. That means you take the knowledge of the words of the scripture that is living and breathing, put it into your brain, and then set it in your heart first. I don't think we can have scripture and it not affect us unless it's in our heart. And I love that. I love that God kind of puts those little nuances in the Bible of, you know, in your heart, in your heart first. You know, you want it in your heart. Go ahead and put it in your head. You got to read it. You got to get the knowledge. But the heart of the matter, my my heart, um, God looks at my heart. He doesn't see, I mean, he sees me physically. He knows what I look like. He knows how I look. But that is not what influences him in my relationship with him. What influences him is my heart for him. And he comes into my heart and Jesus lives in my heart. It's about our heart heart condition with him. And that is so important. So um, I love that scripture and I love being reminded of that. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this because I have read it now. Um, and it's a really good one to have to reflect on and kind of meditate and um, think about. Okay, so the verse of the day in you version, and today is May 2nd, so it'll be different by the time you actually get this video on May 4th, but today on May 2nd, it's um, Psalms 18, 2, Amplified, and it says here, the Lord is my rock and strength in whom I trust and take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my higher tower, my stronghold, and I'll I really love this. You know, you want to remember a good foundation, a good standing place. And when the Lord is your rock, that kind of foundation is solid. It is strong. It is capable. It will, it's immovable. And you have to trust that he is there in those moments when it feels like you're on shaky ground. Underneath all of that is that rock and, you know, just leaning in towards him for that is so very important. And you will definitely feel and know that he is there um, and you will have peace and be at peace when you are concerned in areas that you don't understand or that are scary or shaky in your life. So um, that is an amazing verse as well. I don't think there is a verse in the Bible that's not amazing. So, you know, there's that. Um, here we go. Now, I have not read this verse yet, Matthew. So we will be doing that together and we will be doing let your will be done, Lord, or today, Lord. And that is something I say all the time when I don't know what else to say um, or I don't know what else to pray when conflict is happening and I'm overwhelmed and I'm scared or intimidated or concerned or whatever the situation may be. I'm like, okay, this is horrible. This is like extreme, terrible. And Lord, I want your will to be done in this situation because he knows best. I don't know best. He knows best. And I ask him to open my eyes and heart and mind and guidance and anything that I may need to do or participate in for any situation that I feel like I have to turn over to the Lord and it's his will, not mine. So I love that journal prompt. It's, it's definitely got me thinking. Obviously, I've already said a lot, so it's probably going to be similar when I write it down. Maybe not. We'll see what the Lord um, kind of guides me into, but that's where we're there. So I'm going to go ahead and write out the praise health, praise and health for today. I'm going to go ahead and look up Matthew um, 7, 21 through 23. I'm going to start with the ESV. Now, I'm going to read this in three different versions of the Bible, and we're going to see um, which version I like the best. Typically, I am very biased to the Amplified, but it's, it might be a lot of verses 
And if that's the case, then I might have to spill down into the prayer section, which I'm absolutely fine with. And we'll just see how much um, it takes up here. Then I'll come back to the praise and prayer after I read this um, and write the verse. I'll do this, I'll do this, and this, and then we'll do some stickers and decorate a little bit. So let me pull that scripture up on my iPad here, J.K.L.M. Matthew. Now, ESV is a very good version for people to read. Um, it's very, it flows very easily, um, and people seem to enjoy it. I absolutely enjoy it. Now, this I am going to name my red pen for because these are all red letter, <laughs> which means Jesus spoke these words. So that's what we're looking at today. And there we go. I have it highlighted here in purple. And so here we go. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But the ones who, the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven, on that day many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you, you workers of lawlessness. Whew. That's a pretty intense verse. I never knew you. Let me make sure I'm reading Matthew 7, 21 through 23. All right. I never knew you. So what is the theme this month? Let me look at my planner. Um, here are my prayers. And I might look at the email as well. Um, let's see, let's flip back to the back. Easter, let's see. I've already printed out the pages for the rest of May. Uh, follow Jesus. Okay, that's the theme of the month. It's down here at the bottom. It says, uh, follow Jesus. And that's the website if you're ever interested in checking it out, signing up their email. You usually, I think you get these, um, um, scripture writing journaling prompt they're free so if you sign up for the email you probably would get it that way uh, and it's also in the Facebook Facebook group so if you're not buying the planner and you just want to um, do the scripture writing in a notebook or something like that that's available um, wow that's pretty pretty impressive pretty intense um, this is this month is about talking about following Jesus and so here He's talking about that um, some people he won't know because they did it, tried to do it by works and not by faith. Faith with Christ is extremely important. And so, yeah, let me look at another version and see if there are other words that can kind of clue in or chime in more information um, that I can kind of glean from. All right, True and False Disciples is the title. And it says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and drive out demons in your name and perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evil doers. I actually really like this version. Um, it flows better when I speak. <laughs> this is the NIV. Um, and yeah, that definitely enhanced what I needed to hear. Um, it's not by works, it's by faith. If it was by works, the guy on the cross next to him that had faith and believed and he said he would be in heaven, um, would have had to got down and do something but in works to get into heaven. But it's not. It was his belief. It was his faith and his trust in Jesus as they were dying on the cross. So you can perform many miracles. You can 
um, drive out demons. You can, you know, prophesy and do everything in his name and, and still not get into heaven if it's not in faith with Jesus. I mean, it's, it's plain and simple. As he says, I will, the, will tell them plainly, I never knew you away from me, evildoers. It's that heart alignment I was talking about a minute ago with all your heart and all your mind and all your body and your spirit. Um, it is so important that your heart alignment with God, with your faith in Christ, it is so important to keep that in alignment. And, um, and learn what he is wanting and doing in your life. It's just, and the plans and the path that he has you on, it's just, there's so much to what he does and we can't do it without him. And that's our life, you know? I'm gonna look at the Amplified, but I, I think I'm gonna write the NIV. It depends on how long the Amplified is. Uh, not, oh, okay. Well, it does have a little bit extra. Not everyone who says, to me, Lord, Lord, I will, uh, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day when I judge them, I like that, when I judge them, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name and driven out demons in your name and done many miracles in your name? And I will declare to them publicly, I never knew you. Depart from me. You are banished from my presence. You who act wickedly, disregarding my commands. Wow, that is really, really good. Now I'm torn. I really like both versions. I, you know, I, I have to say, I'm going to go ahead and do the Amplified because I just really love that amplification reminding me, uh, many will say to me on that day, okay, we don't talk like that. But when I hear, when I judge them, I'm like, oh yeah, on that day when he judges, even though intellectually I know that's what they're talking about, I, I need that amplification just to reinforce that thought in my head as I'm remembering what God is teaching and guiding. And so um, that stands out more for me. So I'm going to write all this stuff down. I'm going to fast forward through this part in a little music and I will be right back. I am back. So here is what I wrote. I didn't really write a whole lot. I thought I would have more to write. I guess I said a lot and I don't need more to write. So um, I thank the Lord for the, another opportunity to worship him. And um, in these moments uh, with scripture writing and journaling prompt, um, prayer for more guidance in my health. Um, and I have a referral I got to remember to take care of today. <laughs> I make some phone calls. Um, I always get nervous about calling these places and um, fear of rejection of uh, people not really understanding uh, the referral. If you have TRICARE and you're referred out of the network, you know, you know, you know. Anyways, um, and then my journal prompt is I pray your will would be done here on earth as in heaven. Um, I, I pray you, your will over my life as each day you guide my steps and decisions. I want your perfect will over my will, Lord, in Jesus name. Amen. Simple and basic. And so as far as I've written a lot of prayers here, obviously, um, in two pages. And so here I'm just going to put some, um, decorative stuff down. I think I want to move my camera so you can kind of see it better a little bit. Hold on one second. All right, there we go. So that is um, a little bit better. So you can see the bottom half as I decorate. Again, I'm using the Happy Planner in Bloom Sophisticated um, Florals. I don't know why I call it in Bloom. Sophisticated Florals is what I'm working with today. And I want to put um, some boxes over here where I can just kind of write a reminder prayers, not so much um, full prayers, just the names or just the people 
let's see. I like that kind of sticker and let's see. And I don't know about you, but I can't lay a sticker sticker down no matter what the size without tweezers. Um, it just, I don't know, it's just what I've gotten used to now, I guess. I'm gonna put one right here. And then I'm gonna put another one. Oh, I closed the book. Let's see. Let's see. I think I'll go with this one. And just kind of stagger them a little bit. Whoops. Was not ready for that. Oh, the sticker laid down before I was ready. There we go. We'll line the top up. There we go. There we go. Okay. We're good. <laughs> so I just want to kind of put two different boxes and then kind of write um, for prayer. So I hope your Easter went very well. Uh, I did go to church. I did make it to church. My boys went with me. Uh, they haven't been going in person much just because um, my my sons are autistic. And so with their, um, with their um, autism, they're very selective about certain things. And COVID kind of threw them through a really crazy... Um, worry spell and so it was very hard to for them to feel comfortable for them to feel safe i'm flipping through you can't even see what i'm looking at um and so uh even though they're vaccinated and everything they just could not feel safe and so they did go and wear masks on that sunday um, but my uh, youngest son not only feels safe, but they also um, struggle with worrying about getting somebody else sick if they're a carrier or something like that. And that would truly devastate them if somebody got sick. And that was something they didn't want happening. And so they, my youngest son, who's graduating this year, he goes, when I'm done with school, then I will go into church. Um, but I cannot uh, bring myself to go because I don't want to get someone else sick or cross contaminate. And I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you got the weight of the world on your shoulders, dude. You don't need to feel that way. <laughs> but he does, he actually does feel that way. And so I was like, okay, I will respect your decision. You're almost 18, all that stuff. And so um, I think I'm gonna use these black ones, outline ones, those are so pretty. And then maybe some scripts. Um, so I was like, okay, we'll just, We'll just wait until the end of the school year, no problem. And and so that's what um, he's decided to do. And uh, we're going to respect that decision. So I totally, totally understand what he's doing. And I appreciate his love for people and um, wanting to take care of them in that way. Uh, let's see, I do love this big one. So this one says here, I want daisies in my hair and peace in my heart and love in my soul. So that's really cute. I want to put that sticker down and then I want to get some of those florals that are black outline. Okay, so this one I can't really, it's too big for a tweezers, but let's see if we can get it laid down semi center. There we go. And then go back here and just get some accents of the black outline. There we go. And I think that will be really cute. Let's see. Whoops, that's not what I need. So our ESO was quiet but good. And um, we just kind of hung out at home. And I think we had McDonald's for dinner or something. <laughs> um, nothing really. I didn't cook a big meal. It's just me and my boys. And they're just like, eh. 
We don't need the big fancy meal, Mom. It's just us. I'm like, okie dokie. If my husband was home or something like that, then I probably would have gone out more and gone out of my way more, but I didn't, and they were okay with that. So, well, that is really cute. I like how that turned out. Really sweet. I love that. Okay, so that is the stickers I'm using for today. I love these little, you know, especially when you don't want to write a lot or especially when I'm filming, I don't want to get too personal about my life or whatever. Um, this is really, really good. Um, those of you that have followed my channel before, I've talked about my marriage. Um, just a little update on that. Um, things are really good in a good place and I'm learning more and my husband's learning more and we're working together and still moving forward. And um, we're really excited about that. It's a slow, long process. We've been in a five-year journey of repair and restoration in our marriage. And um, we've been going to Christian counseling since last summer. And that has really been amazing for us. And so don't give up hope. Um, we've been on a twenty over 25-year marriage journey to get this far. And I swear 25 or 20 of the 25 years of marriage were just hard and rocky and extremely difficult emotionally and now it's less that and it's more of God and more of peace and love and um, though we're not 100% there we're getting there so um, just kind of an update there so if anybody needs encouragement on that there you go I'm going to go ahead and zoom out pop this page back and close out this video Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And I hope you have an amazing and blessed day. And I will see you back here next Wednesday. Um, the next one will be May, let's see what is seven days from now? May 11th. And um, I am excited to find out what God has to say next week. So have an amazing day. Bye.